take two. Okay, welcome back again to the uh, or to my uh, how I made my Iron Man suit wearable little series here. This is part three, and on part three, I'm going to talk about the hands, or as I've come to call them, the little hand cramps, and you'll see why. <laughs> Um, these are my hand grabs. Now, uh, what I wanted to do with these, uh, after having uh, the experience of making my my Mark Forty Two uh, and having the gloves actually attached to the forearms, what I desperately wanted to do uh, for this suit was keep the hands separate from the the forearms or anything else. That way, I could take the hand, take the glove off, and be have the function of my normal hand, you know, touch screen phones and all that stuff, um, and be able to go to the bathroom. <laughs> big, big deal. Um, sorry for saying um so much, but so point is, uh, I wanted the glove separate, so that was the effort here. Uh, I started with a red glove. These gloves were actually. Um, like Party City type brand Captain America gloves. I just cut off the gauntlet part, the you know the forearm piece piece there, and just cut them down into gloves. So I started with those. The tap light or the the light in the hand is actually a tap light that I took apart to. Oh, sorry, there's still batteries in there. Get that out of there. Okay, so that I took apart and split apart so that the batteries were inside the top of the hand this little section here that way they would thin down you know inside the glove or in the palm of the the hand here so it's just the lights and the little button and the the lens here in the palm of the hand everything else is above the hand so that was the point there um keep those separate make the batteries easy to access because Again, I can just move the glove. Uh, this top part here is attached with elastic so I could stretch it a little bit. And that makes getting out the batteries really easy. There are way simpler, uh, more, you know, I guess, technical electronic type things. But this was easy because I could go to the store, buy these tap lights, crack the thing open. There's two little wires going to the LED pad and you just cut those, add wires, extend them, you know, just stretch them um, with other pieces of wire, and that's what I did. I just ran like six inch, six inches worth of red and black wire from the lights to the battery pack, and that was it. Very simple. Um, you know, you do that with basic, very basic knowledge, I think. Um, next talk about these oh the uh the fingers now obviously from the sound the fingers are plastic they i 3d printed all the fingers because i wanted rigid fingers the last suit i made the fingers were foam and it was kind of tough to move around or like not really move around but to grab hold of things whether or not not i was actually holding it but with these i was able to get a firmer grip because they're actually you know nice and rigid so that was helpful there um, the palm, like around the palm of the hand there, I went with foam. I was going to 3D print the palm, but I thought, you know, to close in the hand, to actually grab something, it would be better if I just left it foam. So that's what I did. That was just a personal choice. Um, you know, you can make the whole glove out of, out of foam or the whole glove out of plastic, you know, whatever. But that's what I chose to do. Now, to hold the fingers together... What I did there, um, I ran pieces of elastic from the fingertip piece. I glued it to the center there on you know, the, the fingertip, the middle section, and then the long section. Uh, I, I glued each piece you know, uh, for each, each finger to the elastic. Then I glued the elastic to the fingertip and to the top of the hand. So it's not really glued to the finger of the glove. Um, it's just glued to that piece of elastic. So the elastic keeps it 
in place it lets it stretch and move uh, a lot of flexibility there and it's easy it's kind of easy to put on and off um, I can do one by myself the second one obviously you need another person because you're already wearing one so uh, that pretty much covers that the only other thing is it's where I had my secret little buttons um, to activate the servos on the suit this button for this hand actually worked the rocket launcher servo so it um, there's another video in the playlist that uh, shows the servo rocket working up and down but that's what this button was for that controlled that and then in the other hand is you know in the, in the other thumb uh, is the controls for the helmet so that's where I hid my buttons that way you know you're posing you know at comic-con for pictures and stuff it was really easy to do some sleight of hand and just hit the thumb and go into pose and whatever and nobody noticed a lot of people were asking me how it worked nobody really caught that I was hitting my thumb so I think that was a pretty good place to put it okay uh, I'm gonna move on to the next video thanks for watching hope you enjoy the rest